this place is not very busy right now. But tomorrow, I'm going to be back here not to do pull-ups, not to do burpees, not to do lunges, but to vote. It's kind of cool that the place I come to vote is right next door to my castle. Now, I built that castle with blood, sweat, and tears, hard work, kind of like the way the founding fathers of America built our country. And say what you will about America, when I see that flag, I still feel pride and I still want to work hard each and every day to make myself better so I can make my community better, my city, my state, and my country better. I think if everybody around here had that mentality and everybody around here kept each other accountable for that mentality, goddamn, America would be, we wouldn't have to worry about making America great again. It would just happen on its own. So I wonder if there's anybody out there that wonders who Mr. Gurr is going to vote for tomorrow. And Taylor Swift made an endorsement. I talked to Taylor recently on my cell phone and she gave me some words of advice and I really appreciate that because uh, I think Mr. Gurr is going to be voting for a girl tomorrow. How about that? Now the thing is Mr. Gurr is a red-blooded man. I guess if you had to ask Mr. Gurr what's your politics, you know, I'm more of a conservative type of guy. I want Grandpa Bob to be able to have his gun collection. I want him to feel like he's going to keep his family safe. I like the idea of a America where we all take care of each other. And that everybody has a right to their own opinion and their personal freedoms. I don't know if that America exists anymore, but the thing is... Men have invented a lot of good things. Men have invented a lot of terrible things. This is kind of becoming the era of girl power. We could very, very well indeed have our first female president in a few days, and that's exciting. I'm hoping that uh, having the most powerful person in the world being a woman is something that we all learn from. It's gonna be a unique experience. Now, I am not all about the drama. I would rather be in my house right now in my pajamas, but Mr. Gurr's got pull-ups to do. Ugh. I wonder if Vice President Kamala Harris can do pull-ups. If you had to, ugh say who's the most qualified female candidate in the United States government to be president of the United States based alone on the uh, power to do pull-ups Marjorie Taylor Greene might be president well wow, that's kind of an interesting and scary thought but yeah tomorrow I'm hoping I don't make a video here involving pull-ups or burpees. I hope that tomorrow I have another I voted sticker on my wallet. My last one kind of fell off. It just wore, wore off from being in my pocket too much. But I love my park. I love my city. I love my country. And I just want it to start getting better a little bit each and every day for my kids. And just sitting around and complaining about it ain't cutting it. It's time to go to work. A young man just walked by with his music blared up to about 100 decibels.
He was carrying a backpack. I said hello. He did not respond. He didn't have earbuds in because the world was hearing his music. And I don't have a problem with that because probably after I'm done with my workout here, I'm going to go over to the xylophone or the chimes in the playground and play the song that's been in my heart and been in my soul since I've been like four or five years old. <clears throat> now, I just realized something. I'm thinking about taping my workout today, and normally I haven't done that in a long, long, long time because it isn't my goal to scare people. Like I work out very extreme, very intense, makes people nervous. When I was pushing the sled at the YMCA, I could tell people were getting anxious. They're like, oh my gosh, that old man in the Santa Claus hat is going to die of a coronary, and I'm not giving him CPR. He looks gross, but I did not die. I lived, and I'm hoping that... I don't know if I'll post the workout on the internet, because it's not about that. The most important parts of my workout, I feel, are the recovery periods. Now, what that means is, let's say I do a set of bench press, right? And I work really hard, and I have that minute in between where I'm supposed to rest, where I'm supposed to recover, and then hit it again. The part that I want to film the most of my workout is not me lifting the weights. Hell, everybody's got a video on the internet about doing that. What's important is what you're thinking, what you're saying in your head in between those sets to motivate yourself to work harder on the next set, to keep going, even though you are dead tired and there is battery acid pumping through your heart right now, you know you got to keep going. You need to get stronger. The only way you get stronger is by breaking yourself down so that your body can rebuild itself up stronger than it was before. That's the part that I want to focus on in my workouts. It's not, hey, look at me, look at my form, look at my technique. No, it's all mental. Energy comes from the mind. All right. Now, the good news is that gentleman walking by with his music blaring gave me an idea. Like, there are many different songs that I listen to when I work out, and every single one of them probably would get me a copyright strike on YouTube, and I don't want to do that. I like my diary. I want to keep doing it until the day I die. Could be today. Could be tomorrow. It's kind of cool having no fear about that. I want to put music on while I'm working out today, and I have a good idea. The good people at Supergiant Games have said explicitly in their online statements that you can feel free to use their content and their music and even monetize it if you want to do so. So I might have to look up the instrumental version of The Blood from the Hades soundtrack, crank that sucker to 11, and put the girl in stronger today. That sounds like a dang good idea. Zagreus, all the people at Supergiant Games, I just want you to know some people are happiest when they are in hell.
Oh no, we're just getting started. 